Thank you. Brilliant against Roy Knight Jr. Obviously, a bit of a pedigree with that family there. And a, a great match opener. Is that, is that something for you that you really, like, really enjoyed? Especially, I believe it also went out on Facebook Live. So uh, I don't think it did because they had uh, bad Wi-Fi or something like that. So they planned to do it live, uh, but I don't think it went live. But, you know, it's always great to uh, start the show, get the crowd hot. Uh, set the tone for the rest of the uh, the rest of the night. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, if you don't mind, I do have a couple of questions for you. So obviously, why why we're doing an interview, not just a general chat. Let's ask some questions. <laughs> so I, I do believe you, you you're originally from Canada. Right? Correct. So you started with an East Coast Canadian wrestling. Uh, elite Canadian Championship wrestling. That was almost. There. Almost. <laughs> Uh, so I started training in 2005 uh, with a class that consisted of a couple wrestlers you may have heard of. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly, uh, he's in NXT. The Bollywood Boys are on Raw. Uh, Nicole Matthews is a Shimmer, former Shimmer champion. Uh, and a couple local BC Boys that you won't know, but just as good as everybody else. No. Was You're wrestling? 0 for 2 on your facts. Uh, no, I came here last June. Maybe not, maybe two Junes ago. 2017. Yeah, but about a year and a half. So I've been here a year and a half, yeah, but I haven't been uh, here before that. Uh, RevPro was the first company that booked me, uh, but I came over here without any bookings. Uh, just kind of needed to uh, to get here, and uh, I was lucky that RevPro was the first person to give me that opportunity. And you know, I consider RevPro uh, the first company to believe in me uh, and uh, give me that first push, I guess. So. Right, yeah. So it's, you're, you're massive and defined. You're a huge, huge, amazing character that you come up with. The glasses, big fan of, obviously. Do you know where they are? I don't. No, I don't know where they are. I, mean, I don't know where they are. I mean, I just use another pair that I have selling at merch table, but the original ones in Defiant are gone. So, uh... Somebody, somebody's popping them. Yeah, Luke's just made that point. Somebody probably has. They'll be on eBay in the morning, probably. Unfortunately. Um, but it's... So, yeah... It, Is there any particular promotions that you've not yet debuted for that you would like to this year? Almost a New Year's resolution. Uh, in the UK, I think ICW is one of the big ones that I haven't uh, wrestled for. Uh, I'd really like to go back to OTT and Progress more. Oh, yeah. I've done a couple of matches for those guys. Uh, so I th think there will be big things coming in 2019 with them. Uh, Fighting Spirit would be another good one to do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Speaking of wrestling promotions, what did you think of the, the show here? And I obviously a debut show as well. Uh, it was great for a debut show. I really love the attention to detail Gary's putting into it. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of like the ring lights and the entrances. And, uh, you know, wrestling's a spectacle. And it's not as cool wrestling under fluorescent lights as it is wrestling under the uh, the ring lights with all the fog and everything. And I think it adds to the fans. It makes it seem uh, like a bigger deal. And it's more fun for us to wrestle in, in conditions like this. So, you know, they had a great debut show, and it only gets better from here. I mean, yeah, it, I, will, I will say that the, the crowd was entirely packed. And we, we had an interview with Gary, and Gary has previously said that. There was a lot of people didn't think this was going to turn out right. And this seems to have turned out. Perfect for a, for a debut show, uh, giving that he has said that he wants to bring that Japanese type of style to the UK. Can you, I, I can see him doing a lot more shows. I mean, can you see this doing well? I mean, I oh, absolutely. You know, he's part, partnered with uh, Frontline, and Will's doing great things uh, down there with that company. So the two of them together putting on shows like this is uh, is great for the UK wrestlers and the fans. Speaking you know. Of 
bunch of different wrestlers now calling to wrestle for certain promotions. How do you think that's going to affect the scene in, in, as a whole? Is it, or are you the type of person where, well, just more opportunities for me? Uh, totally. You have to look at it like that. Uh, WWE UK exists because those guys put British wrestling on the map, and now they get a bigger outlet to keep showcasing why British wrestling is so good. Uh, and those top guys that are now doing the NXT UK, we have all their spots now. And uh, it's up to us, like CCK, Aussie Open, me, Ridgeway, uh, all the other guys coming up. Now it's our time to show what we can do. You know, they've given us this platform. It's, uh, it's up to us to raise the roof. Yeah, exactly. Can you do me one favor while well, on that subject? Can you look into that camera and say British wrestling will be fine? No, I'm kidding. British wrestling will be fine. It'll be better than ever. Go to NXT, go to Rev Pro, go to Fight Club, go to the little guys, go to the big guys. It doesn't matter, man. The best talent in wrestling is in the, uh, in the UK right now, so it's great, man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, you, would, you couldn't have a better melting pot of talent like, within yeah. the entirety of the UK. Like, those guys are in Phoenix doing NXT UK. They're doing Royal Rumble. They're doing TakeOver. Like, that's more exposure for those guys, more exposure for us gives so many guys on this show the opportunity to perform that uh, wouldn't usually get a spot on this show, so. You, you look at someone like Rory Coyle, for example, the, another guy from the North. Uh, yes. Who, who may not have gotten that opportunity. No, and he's cutting great promos. He's got a, a great character, you know. He's doing great. He's got a great look. Give him a shot, see what he does. Something that's genuinely original for the British wrestling scene. Amazing thing. Um, is, is, have you got any dates coming up then soon for January, beginning of February? Uh, tons. 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 Any off the top of your head that you Not, no, I'm too stupid to know them, so I have <laughs> to look on my calendar, but I'll give you uh, a little preview of what's to come. I got Rev Pro tomorrow against Osprey. I got Fight Club on the first. I fly to Budapest to debut for HCW against uh, the champion Chris Jokic, who I've wrestled in Germany, who's a uh, an uh, amazing athlete, uh, one of the guys that many people don't know about, but you know, I'm planning on going over there, having a great match with them, winning his title, and hopefully they put that match out and people will know what he's about. Then, uh, then I've got more Rev Pro. I've got uh, Defiant going up to Breed. Got uh, your call. I'll be at the high stakes where it's Pac and Osprey. That's one of the best things about being a wrestler is getting to watch those matches live. You know, I don't have to pay the ticket to see that. I would pay the ticket to go see Hawk and Will Ospreay live. But, you know, I'll be on that car doing something, and then I get to stay there and watch it. So that's amazing. I'm doing a double shot with Shropshire and Defiant. Then I got Attack, TNT, Wrestling League, BWR, GWF. You know, it's, it's nonstop. It's great. I wouldn't have it any other way. If you were a wrestler, just off the, that list, if you needed any more reason to be in the British wrestling scene, there it is. Yeah. It's, it's and if you want a reason not to be in the British wrestling scene, I've got a black eye coming. I don't know if you can tell, but Ricky Knight Jr. drop kicked me in the face, not once, not twice, but three times, and I can feel it every time I blink. So, you know, there's, there's pros and cons. Is it, did you try, like, icing it, or is it just going to go? Ah, no, nah, man, I don't give a shit. There's no ice around here. I'll, I'll go to bed, wake up. If it's black, it's black. If it's not, it's great. I'm sure Osprey's got a spin kick for my face tomorrow, so... You know, this is what we do. We love it. Yeah, I mean, We're all psychopaths up here. <laughs> That's what it's all about. I wouldn't trust the water down here. I'll be perfectly honest. It, uh, might, it, might, it might send you through the spins. <laughs> I beat the Mexico. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for this, for this real interview. And, you know, if you've got anything else you want to say, if you want to uh, do your social media or anything like that. So. Hi, Mom. <laughs> but uh, if, you've, if you've got anything else that you want to talk about. At ELP Wrestling. Follow me. Don't follow me. I don't care. It's cool. I tweet shit. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thanks for having me. Shout out, Russell Gate. Shout out, viewers, for watching this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah, you could do worse things.